Hello, everyone. Welcome to Proverbs 1202, a podcast where we talk about religion, we talk about our walk with God, and we just talk about life in general. So, this is the first episode. My name is Abigail, but I go by Recheche. Oh my gosh, I'm saying that like so weird. <laughs> my, um, I started this podcast to kind of like glorify the name of God and just kind of like I love having conversations with friends about religion about who God is about what God means to me and um, I'm excited to share my views and my ideas with you to see where things go and where this kind of conversation leads us first we're going to start off by praying because we have to literally put the Holy Spirit in everything so I'm going to say a little prayer you can close your eyes you can just listen but let's continue so holy spirit i ask you to take care of this moment to if i see my presence and just to guide this conversation amen so how i got this idea to start this podcast so i was it was about a week ago where i was i came back from a concert masego if you guys know masego i came back from a concert from masego and i saw like a fly on the wall because i'm currently studying abroad in brazil so I was in my room and I saw a fly on the wall and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to kill it because I don't, want, I don't want the fly to like bite me and stuff. So I got up on this table to try to kill this fly, but like the fly was like to the right and I was more like to the left of the table, you know? So I tried to jump up on the table to kill this fly and I ended up basically falling backwards and I, like, I scratched my hands and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I was basically like traumatized. So the next day I stayed home, I didn't go to school. <laughs> Cause I was like, I need time to just kind of think, just kind of think, cause I can't do this. And as I was like sitting down, I was like, God, what do you want me to do? Like, what should I do? I don't know what to do with my life. Because we all have this kind of moments where like, what, sh- what should I do, you know? And I started reading my Bible, cause it's been a while since I didn't read my Bible. And then the Holy Spirit was like, wait a minute, you can start a podcast. And I was like, well, wait, I actually, I actually will do that. Cause it's always been in my head, but then I was like, I don't have a mic, I don't have any setup. How am I gonna do it, you know? And then the next day, it was kind of raining in Rio, so I couldn't really go out, and I was still kind of, like, a bit down. But I decided that I wanted to do, like, a podcast. I wanted to do, like, something uh, on social media. So I went to my friend Camille. Shout out to Camille. You guys should stream her music. It's called Audacity Dove. Audacity Dove. Oof. It's on Spotify. Everything. Go listen to it. But I went to her house with... Uh, she's also roommates with some other friends. But I went to her house, and I was just with her and my other friend Mimi, and we're just talking about life, we're talking about religion, we're talking about who God is and our walk with, like, God and just Christianity and just, like, spirituality. And as I was talking to them, I was like, y'all, you know, just talking, just talking, talking. And then Lena was like, wait, you guys should do a podcast. And I was like, oh, stop it, because the day yesterday, the day, like, yesterday, I was literally thinking of, like, the how I wanted to do a podcast, you know? And then... <laughs> And then uh, I was like, okay, okay, I have to come up with the name. I have to come up with the name. So I was like, what should it be? I was like, because I'm in your house, I should like, it should be something related to your house. Because before I was thinking of lukewarm, but in the Bible, the goal is to not be lukewarm. And I was like, why am I having this kind of thoughts? Like, you know, why am I having, I was like, Lord, you know, Lord, help me, help me. But she was like, okay, Tomo too. Because our apartment number is Tomo too. And I was like, okay, I like that, I like Tomo too. And then I was like, okay, what else? What else? What else? What should the name be? And I was just thinking around, throwing around different ideas and stuff. And then Proverbs came to me. And I was like, oh, Proverbs is actually so cool. Because the book of Proverbs in the Bible talks about wisdom. It talks about intelligence. It talks about all these different kind of things. It's from Solomon. If you guys don't know the history of Solomon, let me let me give you a little bit of a little bit of, a little bit of tea. So Solomon is the son of David. And um, Solomon was... Uh, his mother the situation was that like his father david the king basically saw his mother when he was like taking a shower and stuff like that and um he's like oh she is so beautiful i want her i want her but the thing is his mother was already married and he basically went around he took her as a wife and it was just it was just like this whole thing but and then the mother got pregnant wait i'm like literally going in circles but his mother got pregnant and the first their first child together died because David sinned. He basically took someone else's wife to make it 
to make it his wife, you know, to make her make her his wife. And uh, and uh, God was like, I'm gonna bless him with another child. And Solomon was born. And out of the sin, out of like the sinful situation, Solomon, the most wisest person ever, basically, apart from Jesus, apart from God, was existed, existed, and he created the Book of Psalms. No, no, he created the Book of Proverbs. I'm like spacing out. I've never recorded a, <laughs> a podcast before, so I'm spacing out my um. So that came about. So Proverbs number two. That is basically the name of this podcast, and I'm excited for you to listen. I just want to share a bit of scripture. I'm going to read a bit of scripture with you. I'm reading from Jeremiah 9, verse 23. I was just kind of like um, reading because it's been a while since I haven't like read my Bible and stuff. But I was like, I have to go back. I have to go back. So I started reading because reading your Bible is just kind of like it puts a smile on your face. And I feel like it, it, tell, like it, tell, it brings you closer to like God and knowing who he is because if you only go to church or even if you don't go to church you won't really like have a personal relationship with god and with my relationship with god it's more like personal i just want to get to know him and i'm still getting to know him a lot more so i feel like this podcast is also going to like create that safe place to get to know god a lot more (laughs) so jeremiah 9 verse 23 thus said the lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches but let him that glory glory in this that he understand and knoweth me that i am the lord which exercise loving kindness judgment and righteousness chief <laughs> one um and the earth for in these things i delight says the lord behold the days come says the Lord that I will punish all of them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Okay. So but the main one that I really wanted to bring out was from Jeremiah twenty three to twenty verse twenty four. Like God is basically talking about how we shouldn't glorify like his earthly like um earthly things, but we should give glory to his name. We should just glorify him, Chivano. It's kinda like just because if you're wise, don't even don't be boastful. Don't say, Oh I'm wise. Yeah, I know I'm wise oh, I have all these riches, yeah, I know, like, but glorify yourself in him. And that is so humbling because I do that sometimes. I'm so tempted to say that, oh, I did this and I did that. But at the end of the day, I am here because the Lord brought me here. And I'm having this conversation with you because the Lord put it in my heart to do it. Y'all, when I tell you that I was procrastinating, I was not about that life (laughs) i was not about that life i was really pushing it back i was like i don't know when to record this podcast i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep pushing it and then i just kind of felt this thing in my heart this tug in my heart the holy spirit was like bro if you do not get on this podcast right now and share your voice and we're gonna see what happens how um how it goes but i really like verse 24 it says but let him that glory the glory of glory in this that he understands and knoweth me that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness. I'm going to give you all the um, new international version. That's my too easier to understand. I don't. Yeah. Actually, no. Fall now, fall now, fall now. I'm actually not going to give it that because it's being weird. My, um, God is basically saying that we should glorify him in all things. We should get to know him more and more. And in this podcast, I'm going to be having, like, conversations with my friends and just people that I've talked about religion with to see their own views of religion, of who God is. But all I know is that I am not perfect, and I've grown up this walk, and I make a lot of mistakes, and the more is still working on me. But I'm excited to share my voice. I'm excited to just be patient and just, like, patient and just trust fully in the Lord because I realize that when I am not like searching for the Lord when I'm not reading because the only really the true way to know the Lord is that you're like reading your Bible but it's not just reading because you could just read to read but really like asking the Holy Spirit asking the Lord to kind of like give you wisdom to understand what you're reading and to not only see like the surface level but to actually kind of go deeper this week and also last week I've been reading the book of Jeremiah which is what I read out of and then I just realized that, like, every single time 
that the Lord had the Lord had to kind of like like cast his children when, when I say cast I mean kind of like kind of like uh, how do how can I say this I'm thinking so I'm reading from the book of Jeremiah and every single time the people Jerusalems did not listen to the Lord was it Jerusalem I thought I'm going to get up you see I'm not no y'all I so I am still starting with this whole Bible thing I am not a, I don't know everything went well my every single time they had to um, every single time the people didn't listen to the Lord every single time they didn't listen to the Lord something bad happened to them every single time they tried to go on their out on their own and do things on their own they they were left alone they basically went into darkness they were cast out and they were lost because imagine okay let me give you the solution imagine you have this key this key that can literally unlock every single door that can help you out in all situations but you choose to go and do everything on your own instead of using this key literally all you have to do is just open up the key and the key excuse me will give you wisdom and knowledge and just kind of help you on your journey the purpose that the key uh the key kind of gave to you but you chose to actually go out try it on your own put the key to the side you know you choose to do things a difficult way and because of that you get lost because of course you don't know you don't know what you're doing nobody knows what they're doing but because god is that key he is guiding us he's saying okay do this do that actually don't do this because that's actually not gonna be good and if we don't listen to his voice we're always gonna fall into um, we're, we're, always, we're always gonna fall into like the enemy's traps to kind of like lure us away because this world is filled with so much like vanity and so much like people tell us that we need this if you have this you're going to be happy if you have this you're going to be happy but like actually no you know happiness comes with surrounding yourself with joy with um, like just good conversation with just good people it's not like the material things that you have that would give you happiness Giovanni. and i am just super excited to to see where this goes I think I'm done for today and I want you to go follow me on Instagram call to action <laughs> it is proverbs p-r-o-v-e-r-v-s underscore 1202 go follow listen to the content share this with your family and friends and we're gonna see what comes out of this podcast and also go listen to the second episode because as you listen to this the second episode is gonna play where I'm gonna be interviewing some friends so Tune out, tune in, actually don't tune out, tune in, don't tune in. And there's gonna be new episodes every single Sunday at seven. Seven the time here. I can't tell you the specific time because because I'm in Brazil and seven here is not the same time all over the life, you know. But now I'm just mumbling and I'm going. I just thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my name is Kosha Shibusin.